Hi right, folks, thanks for joining me. Something a little bit different today. I've come out of the Lake District. And uh, you can see by the size of this pack, I'm not just going for a day walk. I'm camping out on the hills. We're in Grasmere at the moment. Uh, eventually got parked up along the side of the main road there. Driving around for bloody half an hour, look for somewhere to park. Bagged the last little parking spot there. We're going to go up this side of the fells today, up to uh, Alcock Tarn. Uh, Butter Crags, Heron Pike, Nab Scar, which is on the uh, Fairfield Horseshoe. That's the plan anyway. Whether that comes out, works out that way, I don't know. We'll see how we get on. Going into the village of Grasmere first to uh, maybe have a pint, something to eat. Got all day, ain't I? Come along with me. Let's get around this corner here, yeah. it's a bit busy. Right, come along with me. Don't think I'll queue up the gingerbread. <laughs> People do though, don't they? Amazing. Very nice, very posh. Everything's connected to William Wordsworth in one way or another. Willie's Bistro, Wordsworth's Tea Rooms. Leaving all that behind now though. Time to get these legs working. Heading up to All Cock Tarn first. I don't know where I'm going to camp tonight. See where I am at half seven ish tonight, I suppose, something like that. Decide then. Quite a workout this, but the views, wow, this is why we come here, isn't it? Well, we gained some decent height pretty quickly there. It's raining in Langdale at the moment. Comes across, should just about miss us, I reckon. Famous last words, eh? what to do. There's lots of grassy patches around here, perfect for a tent. Obviously it's only half past one now. I'm going to wait till half seven, eight o'clock before I think about putting the tent up, which is hours and hours away. So I'm going to go and bag a few Wainwrights for my second round. I'm going to head off this path here 
and it should bring me out at Nabscar, which is the lowest bell on the Fairfield Horseshoe. There we are, the Horseshoe taking in Heron Pike up to Great Rig, coming down the ridge to Stone Arthur, where I might camp there if that's any good. If not, I'll come back up here. Uh, so yeah, that'll be four Wainwrights. There's something to eat here first. It's bloody lovely here. When the sun's out. Rain shower just came across over Langdale. Just missed us. Looks like we've got some good blue sky coming. Lovely. Really enjoying this. Well, the big canvas behind me marks the summit of Nab Scar. It's my 56th second round wave right. It's not the highest point of the fells. Rises gently over there. But according to Wayne right, this is the top. I'm gonna to carry on now to Heron Pike, which is a fair bit higher. I'll spin you around and show you, shall I? Right up there. Should keep me quiet for a little while, shouldn't it? Okay, we've come to our second Wainwright of the day. This is Heron Pike. 2,003 feet. It's a cracking viewpoint. You can see the whole of the Fairfield Horseshoe from here. And down to Windermere. But why call it Heron Pike? You'd never get a heron up here. No heron would make its way up here. If it got here, what would it do? What's, what is of interest here for a heron? Nothing. So why do they call it Heron Pike? It's bugging me now. Sit here for a little while. Nice to get that rucksack off my shoulders. Sit here for a quarter of an hour. We're going on to High Great Rig next, which is this one over here in the distance. For a second there, I even thought about going to Fairfield, but it's a bit far for me today. Beautiful viewpoint though. We went to the zoo the other day. While we were there, all the black and white bears, they all escaped. Pandemonium. Gorgeous. Legs like Joey, that's all I need. Oh well, let's get on with it.
here we are on great rig 2517 feet or something like that toying with the idea of going on to fairfield it's pretty knackering though and that'll be a mile there and a mile back to here to go down to stone arthur where i'm going to camp <sighs> decisions don't know what to do it's about four o'clock now I'm going to sit here anyway for 20 minutes and have something to eat. Look at this view, look. Pretty amazing that, isn't it? Beautiful. Look at this for a spot. I'm sheltered by this. It's flat. I'm really tempted. See what's a bit further down. Right, we're on Stone Arthur now. Didn't bother going up to Fairfield. Seemed too far. So we're on Stone Arthur. I found a pitch here where I'm going to stick the tent. Just here, on this flat ground here. I'm going to get stuck into all my snacks in a minute. And this is the view I shall be looking at all night. Beautiful, isn't it? Grassmere down there, the village and the lake. Coniston Falls in the far distance, Silver Howe down here. Lovely. There's little old Cock Tarn over there where I originally had planned to camp. But that would mean walking all the way down to those trees down there and then walking back up. And I'm not going to do that. I'm quite happy here. It's a bit blustery, but to get in that tent would be nice and snug, aren't I? Bring it back in a bit. Put the tent up. It's a bit early yet. I don't know what time it's about six now. Give it that up. Path goes down there. I don't think anybody could see me from the path. Right, what's under me? Sort of up, just needs tweaking a bit. <sighs> Where's my bloody sleeping bag gone? It's bloody down there, look! I can see something red. Oh, for God's sake. I don't believe it. Ten minutes later, there it bloody is. I could just see the tent up there. You wouldn't know it was a tent though. Lesson learned. Don't leave stuff lying about outside the tent. This must have bounced down there like a bloody football. Right, try again. Right, it's got to be beer time, isn't it? Got to be. Without its prominent tour of steep rock, Stone Arthur would probably never have been given a name for it's merely an abrupt end of a spur off Great Rig though it has the appearance of a separate fell when seen from Grasmere dark cold too for June there's two blokes pitched a tent about 10 foot away why would you do that I don't get it piss me right off 
can't speak to you now, can I? Bloody annoy me. Yum, yum. <laughs> Bloody rough night, to tell you that. So bloody windy, raining on and off. The two chaps that pulled up and camped beside me. They were up there at first, and that was too rocky, so they came down here. And they've just gone, complaining that they're laying on rocks all night. Bloody hell. And they left some bloody litter, look. I'll pick that up before I go. So yeah, packed away my sleep mat and bag. All I've got to do now is drop this tent. It's bloody rain again. Don't really want to do this while it's raining. Right, I got there eventually, all put away, like they say, leave no trace, in fact I left it better because I picked their crap up as well. Bloody rough morning, luckily though, I've only got to make it back down to Grasmere. Let's get off this mountain. Bye bye Stone Arthur. Thanks for letting me camp there. On ladies, how you doing? Bit of a washout, isn't it? Hardly flame in June, is it? What's that you say? Yeah, more like bloody January. Buggered, absolutely buggered. Cream crackered. Packed up by at six o'clock. I got back here at seven, back to the car. And just as I sat down, the bloody heavens have opened. I left right early because I wanted to get back before the rain and I timed that perfectly. Uh, got, got an hour of this apparently now, so I made it. Well, that was tough. Tough night. Bloody windy, wasn't it? Wind kept blowing the bloody zips of the doors open. So every bloody 10 minutes I was <laughs> shutting them back up. And then we had them Pratt's next door. There's that whole mountain. And they camped six foot away from me. What the bloody hell is that? It's like when you're in a car park, isn't it? hundred spaces. You park somewhere and somebody come and park right beside you, don't they? It's like that. On the whole, though, loved it. Loved every minute, especially the walk yesterday. Uh, because of the weather, I didn't do much filming around the camp, around the tent, but it's done now. Back into it. Maybe once every couple of months, I'll go out and do a wild camp. Listen to that. Right, we're going to drive home now. 
I'm going to go back via the Yorkshire Dales. Uh, I might need to pull over for half an hour's kip. There's be some laybys along. Can't do that on the A1, can you? So that's what I'm going to do. And I'll see you, good people, again soon. Thanks for joining me. Hope to see you again on another one pretty soon. Keep smiling, won't you? Bye. See you later, mate. Bye.